Hello, this is uh, Captain Jim from the Monopoly Project. We're here on Val Vista Lakes to do our floating book reviews for books we read in February. Uh, we're on the uh, Monopoly Project yacht. Of course, every uh, successful real estate investor has a yacht, and this is the Monopoly Project yacht. Unfortunately, it's the Bikini Girls Day Off, so you just have me. But we're cruising on Val Vista Lakes. Um, the weather has improved here. You can see I'm not wearing a sweatshirt or anything like that. It was cold and rainy for a while. But now we're back to good weather in Phoenix. So uh, we got three books for you, uh, all on different subjects. Uh, one, a naval fiction that we've read before. The other is a, sh a collection of short stories from a hard science fiction series. And the last one is the account of how a, a American submarine sunk a Japanese supercarrier during the end of World War II. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get our first book out and we'll be right back. Okay, it's Captain Jim back on the Monopoly Project floating book reviews, and it is uh, Jan it is March of 2023, so we're reviewing the books we read in tw in uh, February, and uh, our third book today is Shinano, um, the sinking of Japan's secret super ship, and it was written by Captain Joseph Enright, who was the captain of the submarine who actually sunk it. He went on to be an admiral and have a distinguished further career. And so, um, um, it's, it's a historical account of what happened and, um, it alternates chapters between him being in the submarine and the captain of the, uh, carrier, Japanese carrier being on the, on the uh, carrier and it, that, the part obviously by, uh, by Captain Joseph Enright was according to his recollection and his notes and his the logs and everything so they had a lot of source material um, but the one the information from the uh, Japanese side is also based on logs and and actual interviews with the people who there who survived and so it's a fairly accurate account of what happened certainly the the hard data that that they document you know how fast were they going what direction were they headed all that you know is is, is hard truth um, the speculation of what um, Joseph Enright was thinking of course is based on his own recollection and his own history which is kind of interesting and also that of the Japanese captain even though he commits ritual suicide he goes down with the ship at the end um, it's pretty common knowledge because he stated this, his opinions and everything, you know, during and before, during, before and during the actual endeavor. Anyway, so Shinano is the name of the, of the Japanese carrier, which is one of the three biggest carriers in the world. The first two which, um, survived the war. This one was the third one. It was still being outfitted and uh, the captain was uh, tasked to bring it from a harbor which was very um, uh, very easy for the american bombers to see to bring it to a much safer harbor and so he was just gonna it wasn't quite finished yet and of course he complains about this and he points it out the captain rightfully so um, and there are actually shipboard i think 300 or maybe 600 shipboard workers on when it gets sunk and everything so he's he's basically supposed to nurse this carrier over to this new better hiding place um, and he's he's terrified because there are American submarine wolf packs submarines that hunt together uh, the Germans start I think the Germans started this in World War one and he's convinced there's a, a wolf pack Japan uh, American wolf pack of submarines searching for him turns out there's only one and to give you a spoiler of course, all the decisions he makes are based on that faulty assumption and he sails right into the American ship and gets sunk um, so um, um, so anyway so there's lots of official reports and logs and everything um, it's overall it's really uh, uh, engaging it's well written it's sympathetic to both sides um, not just the captains but also the uh, people working beneath them there's no blaming and or this or that and, and they talk uh, to and about a lot of them and so it's it's very sympathetic um 
Uh, you know how it turns out, but it's it, they still he still manages to keep it exciting. And of course, uh, Captain Joseph Enright is listed as the author. There's also with James Ryan, and I think James Ryan is sort of a ghostwriter book, ghostwriter author. Um, obviously, the the skill and the storytelling and, and and conciseness is probably all due to Ryan, but but that doesn't take away from what Enright did, both in sinking the carrier and writing this book. And so. Um, so, and the other thing I really liked about it is there was a lot of personal detail, character development. Um, Enright admit, admits in the book that earlier he had he had had a submarine command and he was too timid and didn't didn't and didn't engage the enemy. And in fact, he asked the War Department to relieve him of command, which they do. Um, and then a year later, this opportunity comes up, and he said, "Well, this time I'm not going to do that." And it uh, turns out that's what he did. So uh, it was credit to Joseph Enright. Um, and so uh, it's, it's sort of interesting. And, you know, I, like, I really like the Fighting Sales series, the first book in this review, uh, first book uh, that I reviewed today. And so this is sort of an offset of that. But, uh, but in any case, if you're interested in World War II history, uh, it's definitely a good book. Again, Shinano. The sinking of a Japanese secret super ship. So this is Jim from the Monopoly Project. That's our book reviews for February. And uh, we will catch you on the next floating book review. Thank you.